All right, folks, I'm back. Uh, we can blame Dalt Decked for this. This is I Am Bread. You can blame Dalk Decked for this mess. I'm not doing it with the wheel. That's something I'll have to examine at a later time. I'm doing this with a PS4 controller. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I just want to play I Am Bread. How about just play I Am I'm not in wheeled. I could be, uh, actually, because it's still plugged in. Can do it without the control panel. Hang on, let me, let me see what I can do. It's wheel situated a little better here. Okay. Oh, did we just lose game audio? Oh no, we didn't. Okay, it's just resetting itself. Hang on now. Back settings. Okay, I would need to do. Is this a thing that I can do here? New profile. Uh, I need Joy to key to make this work. Okay, so I'll set that up at a later time because I would need to set up Joy to key and mess around with a whole bunch of stuff to make it the uh, proper wield mode. But we're gonna do this uh, with my trusty PS4 controller. With its neon purple glow. Um, yeah. Client name, Mr. Merton. Mr. Merton spent most of the session talking about his past, mainly focusing on his failed business, Merton's Merchants, and the subsequent divorce from his wife, Barbara. He moved on to threatening the council again, as well as the local carpet world. The session ended with him angrily stating he was going to shopping with the intention to eat himself to death. He appears to be dealing with multiple stress points and focusing all his anger towards the council, which he still claims they are responsible for the downfall of his business. I believe him now being employed by the council as a street cleaner is exacerbating the issue. I have suggested he accepts that the time being things are not going his way, but a positive outlook is imperative. We have another session booked for tomorrow. The shopping trip should take his mind off events while I review some potential solutions. So, I hate you all. I'm a piece of bread. My goal is to get from this loaf of bread to the toaster over there by the door. I do so by moving. Uh, as I walk over things that I shouldn't be, uh, my edibility goes down. Uh, I'm sorry if this makes anybody sick. Specifically looking at you, Avocado. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. This is... Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, there we go. Come on, baby. Come on, up and over there. No, nope, no, nope. okay. Very, very sorry this is making you feel ill, Avocado. Come on, just got a grip. Just got a grip on with something there. No, okay. Hmm. This is not going well. I seem to be stuck. Hmm. I'm, I'm stuck. <laughs> I got wedged between the chair and the counter. 
Yeah, the bread does sound a little slimy, but that's something we've noticed from playing various games together, is that... Apparently, everything in my life sounds vaguely slimy. Hitman sounds slimy. Bread sounds slimy. I am humping this salt shaker. I avoid that fish. Don't want fish on your bread. So I have a little bit of control just from pushing the control stick here. Uh, although most of it is based around... Eh. The... Okay, alright, we're going down. Alright, okay. Alright, we gotta try to get up there this time. One. Come on, baby. Yeah! No! Okay. The right one. Shit, we made it, guys. We're up. We're up. Hey. All right. Let's... Let's put this here. Hey! Hey, everybody! How's it going? What's up? All right. We gotta try to avoid these ants. Ants will not make our toast very edible. Welcome back, so kizzy fo shizzy we are we're playing some fucking video games, man. Yeah, okay. Oh, should we try to go? Oh, I don't know about going up over the fridge. We'd have to get up on top of the cabinets. And that seems not great. We could try going across the fridge over by the sink, or we could just get right down onto the floor. What do we think here, folks? What's our what's our attack strat? Alternately, we could go for the wall and the bookshelf. Yeah, the controls are a bit funky. Basically, what I'm doing, and I can actually show you, uh, if you look at the camera and the screen here, each uh, of the triggers controls one corner of bread. So I can say, tag down, left two and right two. And then that locks them onto the surface. And then I can use the joystick to kind of maneuver myself around based on what is locked onto the surface. So that helped to, to make some sense. So it makes climbing... Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, we're on the floor. This is bad. we got to get off the floor. This is just draining our edibility. Climbing is definitely a thing that you can kind of do in this game. Uh, it's sometimes not always the easiest thing in the world to do. It's a bit of like slapping yourself up against objects and hoping. Oh no, now I've done it. Okay, hang on. Left one, right one. Okay, alright, alright, we're good. We're off the floor again. Alright, let's see if we can get back up onto the counter. Yeah, we've got a grippo meter there at the top, which kind of affects how long we can hold on to things for. Okay, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do, bread. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay. going very poorly folks come on come on up we go all right oh yeah now we're now we're talking all right now we're playing with power all right we're gonna be able to pull this off oh, oh, okay right two yeah Whew. yeah you, you don't think that looks good still 55 percent edible dark Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh, oh we 
we can't see my ability because of the camera. All right, let me fix that very quickly here. Sorry about that, folks. I think it might be easier if we put me over there. There we go. Okay. Done. Okay, that shouldn't be covering up anything now. Uh, that's just my time that's being covered up, but you guys don't really worry about it. Oh, it's some jam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Come on, get in me, jam. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh. Yeah, jam me, baby. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that perfect corner. Oh, let's check out that last corner. All jammed up, baby. Oh. Uh. Oh. All right. If it doesn't want my love, it doesn't have to have my love. So what's a better strat, do you think? Do we go across... Oh, there's like a skateboard down there. Do we go across the counter again? That ends in trouble if there is... Let's try the skateboard. Oh, no. That's not the skateboard at all. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. We're okay. Let's go the wrong way. Skateboard. Other way. Yeah. Oh, look at this. I got, I got control. Oh, no. Oh no! Oh no! Alright, no, come back, skateboard. You think the window? The window is, uh. is where we should go? Okay, so you think. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. Oh look, there's a thing there, I wonder what that does. Yeah, it, it, you can do square or the, uh, the thumbs, like, or you can do the, the things. Okay. Oh, so I've got, like, an infinite gauge. Okay. Oh, this is a forever infinite gauge. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. It's kind of cheaty. ever run out? Or am I just kind of godly now? I mean, we already know I'm godly, but... I don't know, this feels dirty to me. Oh, okay. But we can use this to get an idea as to lay out. I don't feel good about my infinite powers here. Okay. I guess we gotta go over the counter, folks. Done. Oh no, what have I done? Okay. Uh, go for the skateboard. Go for the skateboard. Eh. No, I stay away from that footprint. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh Christ. <laughs> eh. Yo, this game's hard. This game's hard with the controller it's supposed to be played with. I would not want to try playing this with, uh, with the wheel. Bread would make a mighty sandwich. And that is what we truly hope to become. There we go. 
Alright, so let's avoid the ants. Yeah, I guess we gotta go up and over the fridge or something here. Let's see what we can do to make that happen. Yama yama. Yama yama. Oh yes, Dark. Yes, that's definitely a crib. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just one. Just a couple more pulls. Okay. Get out of here, Jenga Tower. Ugh. Come on. So mad at this bread. There we go. All right. Okay. All right. Get out of here. Get out of here. gross on the top of the fridge, right? Okay. Come on, baby. Okay, alright, okay, okay, alright. Get yourself that bread. Bread. Okay. Feeling good about this, folks. Let's just, like, bread our way along here. Is this a thing? Why is your freezer empty, sir? Okay, this is exhausting. Come so far. Okay. Farts. It's where the big grip gauge running out there. I don't know what we're gonna do here. I do not have any sort of a plan on. Hope. 
this grip, folks. Oh, rebuild, rebuild. Okay, we got a little bit back. We got a little bit back. We can do this. We can get up there. Ugh. I think we're on to something, though, going up and over the fridge. What do you guys think? Does that seem like the right strat? Wow, so apparently landing in the fish takes off 50% of my ability. Oh. That's a valid reason to lose 50% of the edibility on this toast, I think. game are the ledges. Just being able to get up and over ledges is very difficult. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh no, this bread seems a little fishy to me. Let me get you out of here, okay? No, but not like that. We're not. Shit. Cheer for bread, cheer for bread, folks. We're gonna do this. Okay, right two, at least right one. Swing up, swing up, swing up. Oh, just stabilize, just stabilize, bread, please, just stabilize. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay. Try to get up to the top of these cupboards versus trying to go through the or past the water in the hot stove. I, like that. I feel like that's a bit more dangerous. Going the more direct route. Oh, that wall looks fucking filthy. Jeez, what we're gonna do? We have to go up this side. That wall's not looking so great either. Well, let's give it a shot. Let's touch the wall. Ew, look at my bread. My 
bread is so gross. Touch the wall with my this, this is bad to touch. Hey, with your weird floating anti-gravity fish bones. No, okay, oh, this wall's good to touch, okay. That's a thing. So how you guys doing tonight? You got a crazy fucking stream tonight, huh? Euro truck, Hitman, Red. Alright, so here's what we're gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to swing like this. I'm gonna try to pivot. And then I'm gonna try to flip up. And then we're gonna try to go up the wall, okay? So right to swing out. Or let me swing out. Okay, so it's not really gonna let me pivot. Kind of like a pivot. All right, we're up. We're out. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. The ones up. The twos up. All right, I'll take it. Okay. This one try to get up to the top of here. Oh no. Okay. All right. I'm almost out of grip. Okay, okay. Uh, that did not go according to plan. I think we're in an okay position to try to scale again. Okay. Alright, Bread, we're gonna do this. Here we go, buddy. Ah! Out of the way, plate knob. Get out of here. doing. We know what our strat here is, folks. Get out of here, plate. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, we made it. Oh my god, we made it. Oh, no, no, okay. Alright, guys. We are... Alright, I need all your, like, hopes and prayers, because we're getting there. Get on the stove side. The stove's hot, though. It will hurt us. You see the hot burner? That's going to be bad for us. We need to get in that toaster. 
That's where we're supposed to be going. No, there's like Bernie and then there's Toast. Bernie and the Toast is my favorite band. Oh, we got like armor. That's gonna hurt us now. Thank you for your cheers, Avocado. Gross bread needs all your love. Okay, where are we? Okay, all right. All right, so we're gonna attempt the wall climbing strategy to get over there. Okay. Successfully get in the toaster and then stay in the toaster long enough to be pleasantly toasted but not over toasted. Doesn't this bread look wonderful? Toaster. Get in the fucking toaster, you piece of shit bread. <laughs> This is really just the extension to Euro Truck Simulator. Quite no. I'm going to try to Euro Truck Fall. No, you don't have to hit the switch, you just have to physically get into the toaster. So we're going to try a little bit of physics in here. Right. Try to push away from the toaster if we can. got above the toaster and try dropping into it. Let's do that. Okay. Does this look like we're above the toaster? We're gonna take a Geronimo on this one. I gotta wait till we stop swinging if we can. Oh! Alright, 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 alright. down there. Jesus, ew. I'll make your bread pretty unedible. Oh. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, folks, we're, we're, we are at a tipping point. Yes! All right, now we just gotta stay in. Okay, all right, now, oh shit, we gotta get out, we gotta get out. Yeah! We did slightly better than an F. Woo! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Mm. I don't know how the fuck you finished that in two minutes and 30 seconds or less. This toast is a solid E. Alright, let's try the next day. <clears throat> Mr. Merton was very distressed throughout the session. He arrived early, exclaiming that his house had been broken into, but there were no signs of forced entry, and the assailant had only been in the kitchen. He reported it to the police as he believes the council were tormenting him, and the police would be in on it. It took three subtle hints that his 60 minutes were up before Mr. Merton ended the session. I advised Mr. Merton to clear his head and his kitchen, specifically moving things into the lounge, hoping this will trigger his memory. This is a very worrying development. Clearly, he cannot recall the incident in his kitchen. I will review his diagnosis with colleagues and perhaps consider appropriate medication. In light of this, I have scheduled another session for tomorrow. Become toast. There's a radiator over there. Nice VCR. I don't see a toaster here at all, folks. I think we're going to have to go radiate ourselves. Alright, I guess that's what we're doing, folks. No! No, no, run the wrong way. Okay, yeah, you know, I'll take this one. No. <laughs> Be cool if, like, all your dead toasts were just, like, left behind in the level. So that you could, like, eventually climb over the corpses of your dead compadres. Yeah, let's take out this pot of butter. It's mocking me. Get out of here, butter. So get out of here, butter! Oh, no. What have I done? Okay, alright, we're all good. Yeah, fuck you, butter. that exact same remote control. <laughs> ah. Alright. Okay. A little jelly on me there. Files music. Yeah, this is my home. Right. Man, this guy needs to stop wearing his like dirty ass shoes in here. Holy shit. Yeah, in Europe, they use heavily leaded toast to protect against nuclear weapons. So I think we're going to have to go all the way around the room and get to that radiator. I think that's where we're going to have to get toasty.
guys, it's just like a raisin bread, okay? That's all it is. They're just raisins. Nothing gross about that. Well, okay, raisins and raisins on their own are wonderful. Raisins in anything are awful. Oh. Never did anything for it. Fun of me. This couch looks comfortable, though. I will give them that. I used to have a tweed chair that was like this. I loved that chair. It's my tweed computer chair. And eventually, I just my fat ass broke it after like three or four loving years of enjoying this tweed computer chair. It had a nice loud squeak to it. Uh, Jesus. So Kizzy Fush is the obvious answer, of course. This toast merely wants to become one with the molto bene. I could go for this bookshelf. That seems like a safe place. Put on there. Fix that. Right one, left one. Two. Come on, baby. Bleh. All right, we're all good here. Yes, I too enjoy playing Grimble Grumble. I'm on toast. Okay. That's a valid question, Sai. That is a very valid question. Who does keep two copies of the same board game? Freaks, that's who. Apparently it's the ultimate game for misery guts. blah de blah blah you guys are making no sense. In Grimble Grumble, players must compete to be the most annoying player of all. Talk over each other, tell abusive jokes, pull faces at each other. All while trying to make a way around the board to the ultimate goal to become the Grimble Grumble. That game just doesn't sound fun. At all. This is why we're going to get rid of it. Stupid grimble grumble. I mean, I could just do that with Monopoly. I don't need a grimble grumble game. Okay. Yeah, that's true. At least I don't have fish bones in me. Just like a tiny bit of jelly and a lot of dirt. Let me 
name of my autobiography. I haven't plotted this out very well, I'm afraid. Oh, dear. Okay, that's a right one. Hold. <laughs> no. Okay. We've got to get on top of that shelf, which means we've got to scale. Ah, yes, of course. Batch 22. The Count of Monte Cristo. Encyclopedia Britannica, Volume 5. Much ado about nothing. The Grain Bow. Tinkor Tortilla, Sailor Spy, and a hat full of rye. Oh, 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 oh. Kill me. Oh, this doesn't seem like a good strategy here. I'm not sure. I'm planning here. We're making a go for the grit the top of the Grimble Grumble box here, okay? It's kind of our hope at this point. <laughs> oh. We're going to <laughs> locomote out the Grimble Grumble across the floor. Onwards, Grimble Grumble! We ride! Now oh, you're skateboard. You ain't nothing to Grimble Grumble. My no me and my noble steed, Grimble Grumble. Yeah, I don't see any other toaster anywhere else in this level. you do today, Chris? Oh, I rode a Grimble Grumble across the floor as a piece of bread. Oh, boy. Oh, no, I'm being smart about that. I'm not going to let myself get flipped. Okay, All right, careful. We're on some sticky carpet or something here. Take it easy. Whoa, boy. Whoa, boy. Take it easy. I like that TV. That's a sweet... F oh, no. Oh, no. You've hit a major obstacle here, folks. Betrayal! My Grimble Grumble has betrayed me! Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Alright, okay. Alright, let's try setting the Grimble Grumble this way. So, what I try to do is get like a corner or an edge up. Okay. Oh, hey, it's the Butter Pot. What's up, Butterpot? How's it going? It's not like there's heat coming out of that radiator, though. It's a bit concerning. But where else would we go? Of the Grimble Grumble has used up its its helpfulness here. If I 
just have to like align myself better on it maybe? Maybe I have to like rock up a corner. I think what we need to do is push ourselves back this way. Come on, Grimble Grumble. No, I think Grimble Grumble's dead. I think it's as far as his journey will take us. Gotta go. Oh boy. Uh oh. I think we should go for the back wall here. Oh hey, look, we can get the VCR. Let's try that. Grimbly won't go any farther. Grimbly's. Grimbly's as far as Grimbly can take me. And I appreciate all the hard work that Grimbly and I did together. But you know what? Unfortunately, the time has come for us to part ways. I'll never forget Grimbly. Or maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. Try to scale this wall here. Uh, the VCR is not on, so I'm going to go with no. I don't think we can scale this wall even. I don't think we're in a good. Uh, we, yeah, maybe we can. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh boy, are we going to run out of grip gauge? Okay. Yeah, if you've got a one-word hint, that would be awesome, because I don't know where to go here. It's a picture of a football, though. It's a nice picture of a football they got. Need a kitty. Bowling ball. Oh, the bowling ball is up there. Okay. Yeah, that was two words. Sorry, you should be ashamed of yourself. My toast is still edible. Alright, we're going up, folks. Alright, twos. One, two. One. Duh. Damn, time to be flipping around. Seconds of grip left. Keep it together here, toast. All right, bowling ball straight down. I guess onto the TV. Seems like the only place it could go. Just going to assume bowling ball straight down on the TV here. That's what's about to happen to it. Okay, where's that going then? Well, we're about to find out. Aha! Thank you, Sai. You are good people. Geronimo! Look, look at that, we're toasting. Only toasting one side, but that's okay. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Alright. Look at that, folks. 
Good, good call, Sai. Thank you, sir. I gotta find the happy toasting spot. There's one. Yeah, it's a slow roast, but you know what? This will do the trick. We'll have to flip over and do the other side, too. So, does anybody want some of my toast? The way the toast caresses that pin. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of raisins either. Flip over and get that nice jelly side next. Jelly, otherwise I like that. unique way to describe toast. 100% <laughs> on the toast. Look at that, folks. Look at that. That was pretty good. We did good that day. Mr. Merton was again distressed during this session. He claimed his lounge had now been broken into. He relayed his suspicions, and believes he has discovered the culprit is leaving a message by pasting a singular slice of toasted bread in the room. He claims the kitchen had a similar incident, but never stood out to him at the time. He then appeared to be in deep thought for several minutes, and left, saying he was going to test a new theory that just came to him. Mr. Merton's condition seems to be deteriorating rapidly. The stress and paranoia are leading to him destroying his own home in what appear to be blackouts, leaving him with no memory of the incidents. His fixation on blaming a slice of toast must be some sort of manifestation of his hate for the council, as the blackouts seem to be occurring as soon as he gets home from work. Going to increase patient's condition to severe will now maintain daily stations for his own safety. Uh, it's, it's explained very, very early. I think it's in the session note. Uh, that Mr. Merton is currently working as a uh, street cleaner for the city. I like that he's going to therapy bar, and you'll never want to leave. Oh, fuck. Okay. I like how all these songs sound like the opening to soap operas. Okay. Oh, there's an iron over there. I think that's going to have to be our target. Okay. How the fuck do we get over there? This way. Right? Oddly enough, something that's very difficult for me with this game is I is I often struggle uh, between left and right. So that makes this game a bit of an odd challenge for me at times. Maybe I get this plant out of Get! Get you gone! Oh no! 
we're still good. We are still, oh boy. Uh, don't you have a loaf of bread in every room of your home, Avocado? In the one room that is your home? Oh, Alright, folks. We are still technically good. doing so well see avocado you can't judge him you can't judge him for that you've got toast in every room of your home a loaf of bread in every room of your home i don't think it's fair at all to judge oh man look i can take this other slice of bread with me here hang on let me just try to align myself properly here for this there we go come on other slice of bread let's go buddy take this as a sacrifice to the gods My sacrifice to the gods have failed us. Nope. The other slice did not consent. That's fair. That is very, very, very fair. Leaving your bread brother behind? He had to go. Come along, bread brother. We're bread brothers. Oh, we're riding this baby down, apparently. Okay. Sorry, bread bro. I got jet. We gotta ride this picture frame wherever the fuck we're going. Alright. Bed is okay for bread. I am Bredgend, Dante's Inferno, Monstrous Bregiment, The Hunt for Bread October, Fear and Loafing in Las Vegas, and Crime and Punishment. Get out of here. The devil's drink. Be gone. toenail clippings with me or something. Okay, come on, me. Get your shit together. Let's get up here. Come on. Come on. Let's do this together. You and me, Mr. Bread. Oh, no.
that hot sauce? I can't quite tell if that's hot sauce or if that's like a bottle of beer. Oh no, that's a gross wall. Oh no, that's a gross wall. Okay, that's bad. Really, that wall is no good to touch. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. I have absolutely no strategy for this point. So we've learned the bed is not a way to go. Because once we hit that, I was kind of hoping we could go up the gross wall. But now that we've learned that the gross wall is a gross wall, that we can't go up. Get out of here, picture. A very nice picture of that shirt. A very sweet kitty. But we need you to get, go get you gone. Thank you. Oh no, the power up is there. here today folks yeah okay, that's right too at least the whole collection okay all right all right all right, all right, all right. we're good here let's get rid of this thing or it only serves to harm us okay to like rest against that which is kind of going to suck Really? No. 
nine cowbells? Man, you could have had the best version of Don't Fear the Reaper with nine cowbells and all those wood blocks, too. I'm just going to point that out there. Okay, it's okay. It's okay to record. Get this out of here. And we're probably going to try to get this plant out of here as well. This plant's going to be trouble. Maybe not. Maybe we're good to go. We're going to go deal with this like, weird ass giant handcuff looking things. But yeah, that's not going to budge. Okay. Poops. Alright, that works. That works. That works. skateboard and trying to climb this door frame. God. You know, I've always loved games that uh, like the whole miniatures, like miniature characters in a real size world. Stuff like toy soldiers, I always, I always kind of like those concepts. Alright, we're going to have to rest on top of this door jam. Okay. I have always been a fan of that sort of Little little things in a big in a regular thing world. Oh no! Okay, we're in trouble. Get out of here! Get, out of here, get up! Get up! Okay. Machines, yeah, for the Super Nintendo. There's a really good one for the N64 as well. Oh my god, we're not gonna make it to the top of this door, are we? Ugh. Oh my god, we made it! Holy shit, I can't believe we made that. I cannot believe that we made that. There's actually a lot of really good Micro Machine games. Especially for the PC, like mid '90s PCs, I actually had a Micro Machines theme, like or it was a Hot Wheels themed PC, which actually L LGR, um, quasi friend of the channel, uh, really helped us out when we were starting. Um, did an absolutely amazing episode, uh, re trying to rebuild and collect all the parts for one of those old Micro Machines mid '90s PCs. Yeah, there was a lot of those Green Army Men uh, games. The Sarges, there were, they were just called Army Men. That was the game. But there was a whole string of them. Uh, Sarge's Heroes was like a uh, almost like a Metal Gear Solid kind of clone. Um, there was an RTS, which was really good, like a um, Command and Conquer clone, which I really liked. Actually, it was a really genuinely solid game. The Army Men uh, RTS. Get out of your plate. Yeah, suck it. Uh, that was really, really good. Uh, cause the cool thing was, like, when you killed enemy units, you could melt them down into plastic. And then use them. Oh, there's a... Oh, there's a hair straight down there. Oh, look at that. Look at that IBM uh, PC. Look at that. It's the 5150 down there. All right, let's go test out the hair straightener. See if that's a thing that we can uh, work with here. Oh no!
Yo, those games were pretty good. Like, they're not great, and they certainly don't hold up by any sort of standard. By the time, they were a ton of fun. Uh, Sarge's Heroes is the one that most people remember from those games. But yeah, there was like N64 games, there were GBA games, there was a couple PlayStation ports. Like, those games were so like I said, there was a PC one. Like, those games were super popular. They kind of came around at the right time, because they came around right when uh, Toy Story uh, showed up. So they just kind of picked the right time to exist, and it worked out really, really well for them. Rush is a great game. I have a lot of, I have a lot of good memories of Rush, though. It's actually a Rush 2049 arcade cabinet with a laser quest that's a laser tag place that's near to me. I have been known to occasionally sneak out and go play some, just, just chill there and play a bit of Rush 2049 on the arcade. Because Rush is a really good game. Oh, yeah. I mean, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater is the most important game I have ever played in my entire life. So... The most important game in my life is Tony Hawk's... I don't even know why I'm climbing this. It is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. be a game more important. Yeah, I mean, GoldenEye... GoldenEye was never a great game. Uh, because, like, I was somebody who played PC shooters for the, long, for the longest time. So, like, I had already played Doom, and I had already played Quake. Like, just, like, objectively better games. But what made GoldenEye so cool was that it was on a console. Because nothing like that had existed on a console before. Uh, and it was fun, like, despite the fact it had an awful control scheme, because it was the N64. Uh, Gold N64 is a great game. Like, I think it's one of the most, one of the more major games ever to be created, because that game never should have happened. Uh, like, when you read the development history of Gold N64, like, that game never should have happened. But it did, and it totally blew the world apart when it came out. Okay, we need twos. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Save me, plant! I don't know what we're doing here. Oh, we're halfway there, though. fell apart very quickly there too good job plant. yeah betrayed betrayed by the plant technically a relative of the wheat of the bread the plant betrayed me Uh, yeah, no, uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, to be precise, is the most important game I have ever played in my entire life. Uh, and the reason for that is, uh, the first time I ever booted that game up, so I'm just trying to navigate this wall here as well. Oh, butts. Oh, butts. Okay, sorry about that, folks. We're okay here. Uh, sorry, so the first time I ever... Slap the wall, slap the wall, come on. Slap the wall, please. I was gonna find some water. Uh, the first time... No, but the plant took me down with it. Uh, the first time I ever played that game, uh, first time I loaded up a track, I heard a song. And that song was Ace of Spades by Motorhead. And I thought to myself, holy shit, this is the best song I have ever heard. Uh, 
I never heard Motorhead. I never really heard like rock and roll. I've heard like oldies rock and roll, like you know Chuck Berry and uh, uh, Buddy Holly, stuff like that. Uh, but I never really heard rock and roll, like hard rock before. Uh, and then I heard Ace of Spades. And I thought, oh my god, this is the greatest thing I've ever heard. I need to hear more of this. Uh, so I, I went and I downloaded a whole boatload of Motorhead uh, songs off LimeWire. Uh, and I thought, this is really, really, really good. Uh... And, like, I loved it. I fell in love with Motorhead. Uh, and that's when I fell in love with Heavy Metal. Uh, and that has kind of informed my whole life ever since. Because, uh, like, I consider myself, like, a lifer for rock and roll. Like, everything I do, I do because I love rock and roll. Like, just having energy, being upbeat, being personable. Like, it's all because I equate so much of it to rock and roll. And it's all because of Motorhead. Um, Vice City had a similar effect on me because that was the first time I'd ever heard Iron Maiden or Anthrax, you know, uh, was Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And again, I adore those bands to death. I love thrash metal. I love new wave of British heavy metal. Uh, I mean, I have a Judas Priest tattoo. So, again, like, similar sort of story where it's just like these games have really kind of informed how I live my entire life now. Yeah, Kazam, LimeWire, Bear Share. Uh, so, I, I mean, literally, the person I am today is because of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, and then later on in life, and by later on in life, I mean like a couple of years at most, uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I mean, look at the things that I love. Like, I love rock and roll, as you all know. I'm like, whoa, that's not the way I wanted to go. Uh, I'm a big metalhead. You all know that. Uh, I love retro and synth waves. Look at the art style that we use for the channel. Um, I just love doing those things. So, all that stuff is kind of informed from that era of my life. I had a big love for Miami Vice, and I still do. I still really do like Miami Vice. Stefan actually recently got the first season on DVD, and I'm thinking to go try to beat him up and take him from him. Okay, Brad, we gotta figure out what we're doing here. What we're doing is we're telling this plant to go suck a dick. Uh, like, I love Miami Vice. I love Scarface. Not because, like, the whole, like, oh, look at me, I'm a big, tough gangster, which so many people love it for, and I hate them for that. But, like, I love the setting. You know, Miami in the 80s. And so much of that is just me now. Get out of here. Get out of here, plant. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, yeah, I would totally do Hotline Miami. Best way to play that game is on the Vita, though. Uh, and I've got it on my Vita. And that is, like, 100% the best way to play that game. Uh, I've been thinking, of, I really want to pick up Hotline Miami 2, and maybe I will now that it's probably gone way down in price when it came out. But you could get the first Hotline Miami guy in, um, uh, Payday. Alright, this is not going necessarily going the way I wanted it to. We should be going up one more like that. Yeah, uh, there's Frank's, yeah, Frank's Apple's on a couple episodes of Miami Vice. Same with, like, uh... Uh, Knight Rider. I really liked Knight Rider. And again, the music in that movie or in that TV show is incredible. David Hasselhoff, you know. Um, yeah, like that's just me. Like, I actually, what I want to do, if I ever get the spare time, like once I'm done school. Uh, wait, really? The guy I work with was on the lighting crew for Miami Vice? That is actually awesome. I'm super jelly of that. Um,. Maybe what, like when I'm done school and I have a job and I have a bit more spare time on my hands. I actually want to go through and redo all of the thumbnails for the channel. And that's a huge undertaking, considering how many we have to produce just a week to keep up with streaming. Um, this way, this way, Brad. No, this way. Come on. This way. No. Come on, me. Oh, boy. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. 
uh, is to redo all of the thumbnails on our channel in a much more retro style. Because right now, like, I like our thumbnails. I'm pretty happy. Like, I do all the art for the channel. We used to have a, uh, a graphics artist who did it. But we could, we just couldn't afford them. And honestly, their work, their work was good. I liked Philip V's work. She did some good work. But um, there was just some stuff in there that was just like, yeah, this is kind of like my first Photoshop stuff. And I get that. Uh, like, if you've ever seen our old logo, right, when we started streaming, we have it. Or if you go back and just look at any of our old videos um, from the start. I mean, there's actually going to be some of it. I'm going to be talking a little bit about that when I've got the uh, Dropkick Gaming Year 2 Best of video, which I'm actually working on right now because we're coming up on our second anniversary. Uh, February the 1st. We're going to be doing a really special stream for you guys on February the 1st, actually. So, put that out. Anyways, um, like I did the new logo, the one with the triangle that everybody knows and sees all the time now, uh, the Dropkick Gaming TV, all that stuff's mine. Uh, I did all that. And I do all of our thumbnails now. And I, I really like them, but I find that they're very utilitarian. They're not... They, need, they do what they need to do. They have the name of the game. They have their part number. They have a bit of piece of catchy art to get people's attention. But it's not... It's not what I really want, so I'm actually thinking of going through and redoing all of them. And that's going to be so much work. Uh, that could potentially be, like, years of work right there, just redoing them. To try to redo them in a, in a much more, like, retro 80s style, like how our channel uh, bumper is. Uh, or, yeah, like, just to try to do them like that. Like, I think that would be a really cool way to distinguish our channel. That nobody will ever notice or care about, but I will think is cool. Container. Where is going on? Oh. I'm gonna try to straighten myself on this thing. Oh, or we can close it. Oh, it's either plugged in. Alright, we gotta go for the iron. Wait, one IBM 5150. I love the keyboard on the 5150. It's like barely functional by today's standards of what a keyboard would need but man you get those nice mechanical keys going you get those sweet fucking clicks so i was rambling about channel art now don't mind me don't tell stefan about that plan he probably says it's silly. yeah the hair straightener i was thinking but then it's not plugged into anything so we're just gonna try to bring this chair over here Come on, tip chair, tip. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking the hair straightener originally. One. That's very true. That is extremely true, actually, Sai. Now I seem to have lost all ability to maneuver here. Hang on, this is just me being a dirt. Let's try to get back up onto that counter. Great, good, okay. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, emergency protocols. We gotta get out of here. No, 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 no. Oh! Ah! <sighs> okay. I'm gonna try this one more time. I'm gonna try this one more time. grip we have left. Come on. Come on. Keep it together, bread. Keep it together. Alright, I think we're safe here. Yeah, we're safe. Alright. I hear you sneezing down there, Mr. Chairman.
Yeah, do I have to hit some sort of... Oh, no, I'm not going to get betrayed by a plant again. Out of here, get a plant. What are you doing down there, Chair Bear? Not a great view, is it? Do you live in a castle? Oh, no, those are apartment buildings. Okay. Plate. Okay. Let's see if I can get up this wall, maybe. Yeah, right. I actually think this is a good idea. We should put it this way. this. Okay, one more. Okay, now we need lefts. Plant, my old nemesis we meet again. Yeah, this guy's really into having a lot of plates. That's his thing. Edge your way around this plant here. I don't quite know how we're going to do that. Hey folks, we are making progress. I don't really know what this whole technique for getting across this wall is, but it seems to be working. This whole thing was Dalt Deck's idea, and he's not even talking. What a butt. Drop yet? No, not. Okay. Of course I miss you. You're the lewd. I can't live without the lewd in my life. Got stuck behind these containers here. That's no good. Squeeze. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you are the right. Or whatever. Stefan said I should take his Dragon Quest 3 save, but I don't. I have no idea what's going on in that game, man. Oh 
Oh shit, it's working. Oh shit, it's working. It's working, guys. It's working. Oh yeah. Has anybody ever toasted their toast with a hair straightener before? Everyone loves the grab and straight brand. And the home renders works. Hey, keep toasting, bread. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is how I like to toast my bread. With thrusting. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. I gotta flip over and toast by the side now, sweetheart. I'll be back. Me too. I'm surprised. It's kind of got like the goat simulator thing going on. Oh, no, no, no. We're not closing it. Well, yeah, you've never you've never had to deal with my tenacity. Okay. Find myself a perfect stupid thing. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give it up. Give it up. This is not gonna work. Thing. Just want to toast. I'm so close. I'm so close. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, suck it! Oh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, toast. 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 Now the other side, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boom! Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, you guys. We got, uh... Mm. a... Zero percent toast. But we're toasted, baby. And we got sea level toast, too. C is for... Calicious. Drink to that. Mr. Merton came in very panicked this morning. He told of his theory that the bread was somehow responsible for the incident. Then he described how he placed a loaf of bread in his bedroom, and returned from work to find his bedroom had also been upturned with a singular slice of toast sitting among the mess. He left today. He's left saying today would be the day he's sure his theory was correct. I proceeded to remind Mr. Merton that he was making some very absurd claims, and I asked him to calmly take a step back and consider what he's saying. I know from previous sessions that Mr. Merton's home is not in the best-kept condition. I expect he's experiencing moments of realization. Regarding this loaf, I'm not entirely sure the meaning behind it. It is clearly not real, and I'm having trouble coming to a suitable solution for him. Regardless, I played along and, and advised he should throw this loaf out, both physically and mentally. My hope is this will allow him to stop blaming the situation on bread, and we can move forward. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt this level once, uh, then I'm gonna call it because I need to get some sleep. Oh boy. Uh, but I think we might. Oh, trust me, this disaster. This might make its way back into the voting pool for games. We might cycle some other games out. Oh God, floor. Hey, 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 hey! Open, open. So. But thank you for joining us, Dalk Deck, and thank you for this ludicrous idea. There's a hairdryer over there. Can't really see what else we could heat ourselves with here. But thank you for joining us, Dalk Deck. As always, your presence is a wonder. Uh, and we greatly appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, so I'm going to be back. The next, next event is going to be Sunday. Uh, with Dark and Stefan's Super Metroid run, so I should be here for that. Uh, 
I am really looking forward to seeing how that turns out. And then Tuesday, I'm going to be back with Ogre Battle. No! Balls, 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 balls. Uh, Alright, guys. I think I'm going to call it along with Dark Dulk Deck. It's got to be getting pretty late. Yeah, 12.45. And uh, well, we made it in four of the seven levels. So we're doing pretty good. There's also other stuff you can do. Like there's a bagel race. There's a rampage mode. Cheese hunt. There's a bunch of different stuff that you can do in this game. Uh, but we're going to... You know, I think I'm going to... Whole meal. I think I'm going to come back to this. Um, I don't know what this team focus group is. I swear to God, this just takes me to the team for the YouTube page. Come sandwich. No, we're not doing that. All right, folks. <laughs> Thank you very, very, very much for joining me tonight on this kind of wild-ass ride that's going to involve me doing a lot of fucking work um, to, to put all this together, to get thumbnails and get it all rendered. I love you guys. Uh, so thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. We really do appreciate it. Um as always, my friends, and, uh, yeah, so Sunday, yeah, this is, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna come back to this game, I think this game is gonna make its way into the voting pool, I'm gonna really mix up the voting pool for the next four games, uh, so there's not gonna be Euro Truck Simulator or Hitman, uh, for next Friday's, uh, games, uh, cause these streams always tend to run long, so I think it's best to do them Friday nights, um, I know it's nights of Thursday, don't worry about it. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really mix up the games. We're gonna play some really fun stuff, or, well, you guys are gonna get to pick some really fun stuff for us to play. Um, otherwise, as I said, I hope to see you guys Sunday. Uh, avocado, get lots of rest, lots of soup. Uh, the rest of you guys, have yourselves a, an awesome night. I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Watching CBC, nominated for 165 Gemini Awards. special happens right here, right before your eyes. Network takes to the air. It's distinct. It's essential. It brings Canadians of all ages, of all kinds, together. you have enjoyed today's programming on CBC. The Canadian Broadcasting Corporation is proud to serve the communities of Barrie, Beardmore, Chatham, Geraldton, Hornpane, Huntsville, Kitchener and Paris, London, Manitouage, Marathon, 
Normandale, Owen Sound, Parry Sound, Sarnia, Toronto, Wawa, White River, and Wingham. The Canadian Broadcasting Centre is located at 250 Front Street West, and public tours can be arranged by calling 416-205-8605. If you wish to comment about programming on the CBC or to inquire about attending live tapings of our shows, please contact Audience Relations by phone at 416-205-3700 or by mail at CBC, Post Office Box 500, Station A, Toronto, Ontario, M5W 1E6. The CBC Internet homepage address is http colon forward slash forward slash www.cbc.ca We hope you have enjoyed today's programming on CBC. Good night from CBC.